Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's lecture video, we are going to discuss about the drug tolerance, their basic introduction, their type and their subtype. You know, what is the example of drug tolerance? The most important and most suitable example to understand the drug tolerance is me and you. That means a student and a teacher. Suppose you are coming to the college very first time, just after your admission, then you would be very sincere very obedient and very dedicated for the college or for the study whenever i will give you assignment or any homework definitely you will do it next day but just after one month two months one semester next year then you will be tolerated for my instruction you will start making different times of different types of excuse for not doing any homework that because you become tolerated for my instruction now there is no such fear of mine in your mind that is become tolerated and that is a process of toleration this was example from our daily life but let me clear this example with a example what is the meaning of that whenever we used to apply some kind of pain balm just for example very mild pain balm like Vicks Vaporub this will give you relief from chest congestion even from mild headache too but if you are tolerated with that particular use you are continuously using Vicks Vaporub then it will not be able to produce any kind of therapeutic effect for your pain perception then you will start using Jandu balm mild blue color bottle then it will also not work then you will go for Jandu balm ultra that is red color that will be work for you that means if you are continuously using any kind of drug one day one time after some time that drug will not produce as same effect as it used to produce in earlier time to get the same effect you need to increase the dose or concentration of that particular drug so the difference between the concentration the final concentration which you are using right now and the initial concentration we used to use in earlier times the difference between these two is simply considered or can be understand with the drug tolerance so let's start with this topic with the drug tolerance definition that tolerance is requirement of a higher dose of a drug to produce a given response is simply known as a drug tolerance that means suppose in x dose let me clear with this example or formula then we will get it better in this example i have placed an equation just imagine this just suppose this that in initial days without any tolerance had been occurred initially the 500 mg of any drug were producing x response what is the meaning of that? If you are taking any 500 mg paracetamol, just for example, it may be another drug, just giving you the example of paracetamol, it is not applicable, it is not applicable with the paracetamol. So if you are taking any drug of 500 mg, it is producing X response. But now you have started to use this drug continuously or, or more frequently, or you can say prolonged duration of time, then to achieve this effect you need to increase the dose now at the same drug same drug and for same effect you are taking 650 mg of that particular drug to achieve the same x response now at earlier you are accepting x response at 500 mg but now you are getting x response at 650 mg so what is the difference the response is same but the dose required to produce the same response is difference so we can calculate this as a formula the final minus initial so this is 650 and this is 500 so difference is 150 mg now you are taking 150 mg more concentration of the same particular drug to achieve the same response which we used to get in earlier time so the increase in that particular dose indicating that you are tolerant with the, that particular action of particular drug so to take a x response we need to increase that particular drug this is the example of drug tolerance next one is tolerance is widely occurring phenomena in biological organism or in our body that means if you are taking any drug for longer duration that may produce tolerance that will not produce the same action as it was used to produce at its initial or very earlier days this is called tolerance actually and this is very useful with our body so you have to use every kind of drug with a proper prescription with a rational manner irrational prescription irrational use of drug may convert it into drug tolerance or we can also say in a future classes that may develop resistance too so in this classes the result of tolerance is frequent utilization prolonged duration of any kind of drug next point say loss of therapeutic efficacy after prolonged or intensive use of any drug mainly is uh, take dose taken is may be possible for the reason of drug tolerance this line make you very clear to understand the drug tolerance loss of therapeutic efficacy what is the meaning of loss of therapeutic efficacy suppose any antibiotic producing good effect 
producing different types of bacteria, static or bacteriocidal activity depending upon this nature to nature. So after continuously, so after prolonged for the long time, this is Hindi mein lambe method. So after using prolonged or intensive, frequently use of the particular drug, that antibiotic will not be able to produce the same effect as used to produce at the initial time. That's why there are so many drugs which are now tolerated or which are resistant for our body. They are not producing very effective effect as they used to produce. And that is for the drug dose, not for the drug actually. If you are talking about any drug, resistance is for drug. But tolerance is for that particular dose. There is a difference between this resistance and tolerance. We will see the resistance later on. So suppose I am taking A medicine. Now A medicine's X dose is effective. But after some time to achieve the X response, I will take same drug but the drug quantity will be variable like in this example. So drug will be same but the quantity or dose need to be increased to achieve the same effect as you used to get it earlier. For example, the first one say sulfonyl ureas. Sulfonyl ureas is a oral hypoglycemic agent which is used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this case of type 2 diabetes mellitus, there is deficiency of insulin which is not properly secreted by the beta cell of Langerhans in our pancreas. So we need to give those drugs which will stimulate the production of insulin by that particular pancreas and if you are using sulfonyl ureas as a type 2 anti-diabetic drug then it will be tolerated by any human beings. The second example is beta 2 agonist in case of asthma. Beta 2 agonist will produce uh, bronchodilation and if you are continuously or prolongedly using the beta 2 agonist that will not produce the desirable action as it was used to produce in initial days. So these are the example of drug tolerance. Now coming to their types. There are basically three types of drug tolerance. In few books the cross tolerance is included as a subtype but let me clear you I am taking example from KD3 party. So as per that reference book there are three types of tolerance. The first one is natural, second one is acquired and the third one is cross tolerance as their name indicate everything is very conceptual everything is very easy so first of all what is the meaning of natural natural means to get that particular response to get the particular tolerance you need not to do anything that become uh, very natural that comes as a default phenomena for example different species or different individual is inherited less less sensitive to any particular drug as depend upon the species or particular individual to individual which is based on a genetic zero phenomena genetic sequence the action of the particular same drug for the different particular person may be different or particular person may get tolerated with the same kind of drug with different other uh, compared to the other person for example there is a rabbit. Rabbit are tolerated to atropin. This is a very good example for the experimental point of view. So we will not use the rabbit for the experimental purpose of atropin because they are tolerated for the atropin. Now coming to the second one that is acquired. What is the meaning of acquired? Acquired means applying effort or doing any activity that can convert it into this phenomena like we are taking different types of drugs so frequently, so regularly for a prolonged time, for a prolonged duration of time that may produce drug tolerance. Example, occurs by repeated, this is what is important, repeated frequently, repeated use of drug who has initially responsive the drug which you are taking was initially responsive but just because of your improper use in actual use or unethical use that drug become tolerated and now you need to take more concentration more dose concentration of that particular drug to achieve the same response mostly seen with cns depression drug these are applicable with many category but basically in general it is applicable with the central nervous system depressive type of drug these drugs can usually cause drug tolerance with compared to the another category of drug now next one is an important note tolerance need not develop equal to all action of the drug suppose if as there is any drug that drug is utilized in different different criteria different different category so one drug can be tolerated for one kind of action biological action pharmacological action but it is not necessary that it will be tolerated for each and every activity like there are so many drugs barbiturate benzodiazepine which are used as a sedative hypnotic anti-anxiety drug muscle relaxing drug any other uses of this so it is not compulsory that if it is not acting as an anti-anxiety drug it will also not act against the sedative hypnotic or other type of central activity drug it may but it may not be too. So let me give you the few example. The tolerance developed to the analgesic and euphoric effect of morphine will not produce the its constipative effect. Effect. Actually, see, we have used morphine 
for the energetic activity to achieve the energetic purpose or to get euphoria what is the meaning of euphoria it is a feeling of well-being actually it's a dream of your own your own creation in a dream that's called euphoria feeling of well-being very well-being i must say this is euphoria but if you are taking morphine for this two particular activity to either achieve analgesic condition or to get euphoric condition then you may be tolerated for this kind of activity but this action of morphine will be tolerated but I repeat, but the action of morphine for constipative activity for the causing of constipation will not be affected. So this is an example that if a drug is tolerated for one activity, it is not necessary to, that it will be activated, that it will be tolerated for the other one. Now, next one is cross tolerance. As name indicate, it is a cross tolerance. See, this is a two things which we have talking about. So one can affect this, one can affect this. This is making cross tolerance. Means if you are taking one drug, and if you are taking another drug of the same category, then it is chances of development of cross tolerance. One drug can affect the action of another drug. Suppose if anyone is a chronic alcoholism condition, he or she is taking alcohol and different types of central nervous system acting drug. And if he or she need to go for the general anesthesia, then the dose will be higher because he already developed a tolerance for that particular drug just because of taking alcohol. So just me give you an example. There are two person. One is A and the other one is B. A is using alcohol. B is never using alcohol. He has never taken alcohol of any concentration of any kind. One day they both have to go for the surgery, major surgery. And they will need a general anesthetic. So to produce the same activity or same level of anesthesia, we will give the, just approximately, we will give the same concentration of general anesthetic. But B had never taken alcohol, so that they, the, so that those of that particular general anesthetic will produce desirable anesthesia and he will go in unconscious state. But A is already in a chronic alcoholism case, alcoholic condition. So the same drug concentration of general anesthetic will not produce the same level of anesthesia in A because A is taking alcohol and that alcohol is developed, uh, that, that alcohol developed cross tolerance for that kind of general anesthetic. So it will called or it will be considered as a cross tolerance. There are two types of basic cross tolerance development. The first one is pharmacokinetic and the another one is pharmacodynamic. Pharmacokinetic means what does body do to the drug and that effect can affect the development of cross tolerance. It may be just because of their absorption, distribution, metabolism or elimination has been altered by the first one drug because if he or she is taking alcohol for the longer duration of time, then his kidney may be not properly working, his liver metabolic function has been altered or maybe anything else or any other psychological activity has been developed or her central nervous system has been accumulated or adjusted itself for the action of alcohol. There are so many other factors which are related or concerned with this ADME phenomena. But in case of pharmacodynamic, it is what does drug do to the body and that may be accordingly with the person to person and that may be affected by different types of factor like factor affecting drug action body weight age gender etc etc and that that, that drug profile can also be variable so these are the basic factor responsible for development of cross tolerance so friend that's all for the day in today's classes we have seen general introduction regarding drug tolerance their introduction and the type we need to see only definition but i have included all this point just to make you better understand the concept so at last thank you very much for watching this video if you want to take the screenshot of this whiteboard section you may have up to some time and the reference for today's lecture is kd3 party latest that means eighth edition thank you again please do take care of yourself and please do not forget to give us feedback in comment box this is first time where we are introducing ourselves in english lecture so there may be possibilities of so many errors in our language on the graph or our pronunciation please avoid them please ignore them and suggest us what should we do to improve our deliver talk or improve our quality to deliver a lecture it is initial trial i hope we will get better one day by day thank you very much for watching this video again take care